Okay, what if I were to tell you about two secret lenses? Yay! They're really, really cheap. Super cheap. I have the links below. I did a lot of uh, bokeh comparisons. I mean, I knew what the bokeh was like, but... <sighs> I had to whip out a bunch of lenses so that I could show them all side by side. I have the links for most of them below. The only ones that I don't have listed are like... Um, the... Uh, the Takamar 50mm 1.4 and the Takamar 135 3.5 and 2.5 but anyway I got two secret lenses I've not mentioned before and here they are they're really awesome and I got so many lenses here it's like where are they at <laughs> uh, without hitting the microphone here we go these are the two secret lenses they're incredibly cheap this one is actually really easy to find this one's slightly harder to find and this is it right now I've got this on an adapter let me unscrew the adapter. Um, like I said, check the bokeh samples below. Um, you know, we got soap bubble bokeh, cat's eye bokeh, swirly bokeh. What about gigantic bubble bokeh? Like Titanic, what I call this, the TPB, right? The TBB, the Titanic bubble bokeh. And that would be this. It is the Auto Shinon 55mm F17. Now the F14 is insanely expensive and basically impossible to find. The F17, however, is not. You can usually find this for like 20 bucks or so. Oh my God! Like I said, just click the link below. Really, a very uh, sharp lens too. It's like, oh, how sharp is it? I know. This is about bokeh. Um, these are the uh, little. Uh, KNF concept adapters are uh, like uh, twelve or fifteen dollars, or like the Rainbow imaging adapters, which are eight dollars and fifty cents. Um, you need one of those for your Fuji, anyway. But this is it. These are the two secret lenses. I'm going to talk about this one in a second. Very creamy. Uh, the pastel Titanic bubble bokeh off of this is absolutely incredible. A very uh, high resolution lens as well. It's kind of hard to describe it in any other way. It's perfect for uh, portraiture, too. At 55 millimeter, you have basically a near, almost, 80 millimeter uh, portrait lens on a DX crop sensor. This is it. This is uh, the woodpecker titties. I combined woodpecker lips and uh, the tits together to make woodpecker titties. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new class designation for like something that is just not at the top, but way on the top. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm slightly crazy. Here's the other one. It's uh, the Yashinana, i.e. the Yashika. This little sucker is not only tiny, but it weighs like a lead. It uh, feels like a lead sinker. I got a couple of these. There's another one over there. It's, uh, they call it the Auto Yashinan. Now, on the lens, it'll actually say F5 centimeters. What that means is a 50 millimeter lens. It is an F2 lens made in Japan. This sucker actually is built as well as a Zeiss lens or a Voigtlander. So if you own a Zeiss or a Voigtlander, you know, a lot of these lenses are, you know, a little bit loose, a little bit, like, sloppy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, even though they work fine. Uh, not so with this little sucker. Um, that's it insanely high resolution incredible bokeh i said the link for this is below also this is the yashinan which is basically a shika lens shika yashinan made in japan um 55 none of these are radioactive by the way 55 uh excuse me 50 millimeters but it'll say on here uh that it's a uh, a five centimeter but that just means it's 50 millimeters and it is an f2 lens so these are the two uh, woodpecker lips lenses <laughs> that I recommend you keep your eyeball out for that you'd be incredibly happy with. Incredibly. Not only very high resolution, but just absolutely mind-blasting bokeh. And this little sucker, if you could snag it for 20, 30 bucks, even 40 bucks. <sighs> Built like a Zeiss. High resolution, just the tits. Absolutely. This one's this is the one copy that I've got. It's got a little speck inside of the rear element, except this sucker is not easy to take apart. I'd rather live with the speck on this lens and actually take it apart. So if you want the awesome the awesome, then here it is. Okay, Yashinan, fifty millimeter of its mark five centimeters, same thing. And uh the auto shinon uh fifty five millimeter f one point seven. Both of these are incredible. 
Check out the next video where I'll give you a top recommendation for cheap, awesome bokeh lenses for your Fujifilm camera. And uh, that's that, as they say, right? Oh, I forgot about the lens cap on this one. Lens cap. Oh, by the way, the reason why uh, they like that uh, rainbow imaging adapter, it's $8.50 when someone says, oh my god, now it says like $89. What? That's normal. And the reason that's normal, it, it means they don't want you to buy it. They, they, they do that as a placeholder. There are a lot of other companies that do that. They have a perpetual listing, and when they run out of stock on them, then they'll jack the price way up so you don't buy them until they get them back in again, and then they drop the price. It's not like the price has suddenly gone way the hell up on them. So that's the reason why uh, people do that on eBay. Like if someone sells like a hundred of something, and it's like, boom. I knew they would sell out of them because I listed a link to it, and like a bunch of people would buy it. And when they do that, they jack the price way the hell up. Not to make more money, but to say, you know, hey, don't buy it until we get some more of them, man. So that's the reason behind that. Okay? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Very kind of you. The link is below. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on anything. And thank you. Bye.